Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you my number one sourcing tip. So just before we get into it, I wanted to quickly talk about how this tip came into my mind and came into my uh, business life really. So when I first started reselling, I wasn't like maybe other people who maybe did more car boots or maybe did like more um, auctions to start off with. I actually focused solely on charity shops. And not only that, I, did, I don't mean I focused solely on charity shops for a week or two while I got started. I only did charity shops and I only focused on the same nine or ten charity shops for the first five or six months of my reselling. I didn't really do any car boots or anything like that. As far as I can remember, I didn't do any up until maybe six or seven months into my reselling. So, because I was doing that, some weeks I would get loads of stuff, other weeks I wouldn't get anything. I would be up and down with my emotions because I'd be thinking, oh, I need stock and I've not got it from here and stuff like that. I'd be up and down all over the place. And then I started doing car boots and I got into car boots more and more over the months. And um, I would be able to get a little bit more stock and I'd be a little bit more happier with that and obviously doing car boots and charity shops then was a good combination. And then sort of beginning of last year, uh, beginning of 2017, I got into auctions. So then I had auctions, charity shops uh, and car boots. And also prior to that, sort of late 2016 or mid 2016, I uh, started developing a few contacts as well. So I had, you know, three or four things on the go. And that kind of just naturally evolved over time, how my business evolved, you know, through my own persistence in wanting to do this as my job and um, and basically just people looking out for me, people sharing deals with me, people, um, you know, family members, when, when they see that a car boot is on, they'll tell me about it or when they know that someone's looking to clear, clear some stock or something like that, or clear some items from a house, they will tell me about it. So... For, for a little bit of kind of um, help with family and through my own persistence, that's how my business kind of evolved. But what is my actual sourcing tip from this? Well, my tip is diversification. Don't rely upon one way of getting stock. And I know I've talked about this so many times in so many videos, but it's so powerful if you have so many different ways of getting stock. And I still see people talking about the fact that they can't get stock. And I do kind of empathise in a way because I was in that position not so long ago, but I got myself out of that position. So, you know, I, I tell you this now to help those who may be struggling to get stock because this is the way you're going to do it. And it's by nothing more than hard work and persistence, really. But if you diversify, if instead of maybe just, maybe you do, let's say, 100 charity shops in a week, and that's been enough for you for quite a while. However, it is only one way of getting stock. If maybe a few of those charity shops drop off, or let's say, you know, they're not, they're not performing as well, or, or some of them put the prices up, then you'll need to diversify anyway into another way of getting stock. So if you already diversify, if you're already diversified before that happens, before the charity shops put prices up or before anything happens with the amount of stock that's coming through charity shops, then it doesn't matter that they've dropped off because you, you already, in addition to going to your 100 charity shops or your 50 charity shops or your 20 charity shops a week, you do auctions, you do car boots, you, do, you have contacts, you look on the Facebook marketplace every night, you look on Gumtree, you do eBay sniping, you um, flip things from eBay to Amazon. There's so many different ways, like literally there's so many different ways and there's new things cropping up all the time. I mean, you've got new apps like Spark and things like that. I mean, there's loads of different apps that I can't even think of them right now, but there's, there's so many different apps that are popping up all the time that are 
you know, essentially the same things as like Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that, but it is new ways of getting stock. And uh, of course, if the general public are moving on to these apps, we need to move with them because that's where the stock is going to move. That is where the potential stock for us is going to move. So diversification is massive. And if you can get ahead of the game, and you can not rely upon one source and you can be so diverse you've got all these different things all these different ways of getting stock then that is only going to help you of course you don't want so many things on the go that you you end up dropping the ball and you, 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 there's just too much happening there's just too many things going on all at once however um, you can always choose not to go to an auction one week or not to go to a car boot you know the next week and that's what I do at the moment you know sometimes I'm in a good position now where I can get so much stock that I can if I don't want to get up on a Sunday morning or something like that or if I don't want to go to the auction I don't have to and that is a great that is a great great position to be in because you can you're in a position of power then in, in where you have enough stock for yourself because you've got all these different things on the go and if you don't want to get stock one week from one of one of the different ways because you need time for listing or for something else then you can just not go to that place or not do that whatever that sourcing thing is one week you know you don't have to go to an auction you don't have to go to the charity shop so it's really powerful just to diversify and get as much out there as possible. You know, spread the word that you're a reseller. Hand out business cards, talk to people, and it will do you the world of good. Honestly, it will, because that's what it did for me. And on this channel, I try and help people so much. And that's what I'm trying to do in this video. I know it sounds like a bit of a rant, but at the same time, it's so powerful. And if you harness the power of it, it can change your business like incredibly incredibly and then you can use this in conjunction with you know let's say your business gets to a point where you uh, can afford to get employees or something like that and expand you can use diversification with, with uh, in conjunction or with having employees and then get them to do one sourcing strategy while you do another or get them to list so that then you can do more sourcing and ultimately they'll list while you're sourcing then you can list when you're at home you've doubled your effectiveness that way so diversification is really really cool and if you can get too much stock that is a great position to be in because then you never have to worry about getting stock you never have to have that worry in your mind like oh I need to get more stock I need to get more stock you feel a lot freer in that sense and it can obviously free you up to to expand your business in other ways because you're so diverse with your sourcing and you can just get stock coming out your ears basically so yeah I will leave it there guys for this video if you enjoyed it please do give me a like please do give me any comments or queries or questions down below uh, if you want to discuss a little bit more on diversification or my number one sourcing tip down below in the comments and please do so and I will see you in the next video so see you very soon guys